what are we doing today? We're driving, you can see that. And uh, we are going to meet up with a bunch of buddies. Uh, some of these cars you've probably seen if you follow us. And uh, one of them is new. And we might, I don't know, we might have some surprises, people we don't know. But uh, we're going on a summertime cruise of the hill country with a group of friends. Enjoying a beautiful sunny Saturday. It is hot. It is 9 in the morning. It's 85 degrees. It's a hot Texas day, but we're going to have fun today. Let's see who shows up. All right, so I kind of messed up the audio. Anyhow, let's start. So I'm voicing this over. It's just the intro part of the meet. Uh, we've got Miguel's ISF. He's the one who's hosting the event. Put every got everybody together for this Saturday. And uh, this is our buddy Subaru. He's got a bunch of Subarus. He brought out the Forester. He's not taking it on the drive, but he's rolling with Miguel today. We got a Honda Accord, another ISF. My boy, <clears throat> excuse me, my boy Derek's uh, Toyota Soar, right-hand drive, JDM, of course. This is a uh, new buddy, Jess, that I just met. 2JZ on a 300ZX. Super cool car, custom color for the 300Z. I believe it's off a of 350Z is the color code he painted it. Pretty cool wheels. If you know what those are, you know they're pretty awesome. And, uh, yeah, check that out. Not hiding that. And on the late train, my boy Chris. A little more on that blue ISF in a minute. That's his new car. And I'll tell you what happened to the original one. And if you follow our channel, you know Chris had the digital camo isf the gray one there's of course our porsche the cayman and my boy jt's mark IV supra he'll be joining us and then my boy johnny who has a red mark IV, decided to roll out in his toyota crown because his brother's rolling with him let's go check out chris's new isf so he bought this car for ten thousand dollars yes ten thousand dollars Needs a new paint job. You can see some of the clear coat is faded on it. Really wasn't well taken care of on the outside. The engine was dead on it, but he already had a built 5 liter ISF engine that was going into the digital camo car, but unfortunately he got in a car accident. Someone ran a red light and totaled his digital camo gray one. Found this one for cheap. Had a new engine, and I believe in about a week's time or so, week and a half, they got the new engine in there. His buddy rolled out in his awesome RCF with a nice, I'm going to call it like a brick colored. Love the lines of the RCF. Basically the highest model of the two-door RC Lexus division with the bigger engine. Very cool and beautiful wheels, but I really like Chris's Volks. He was able to get the old car back and take all his trim pieces off to get on that one. So, getting ready to head out. Go on the speed limit. I mean, what's the speed limit in Mexico? I don't even know. regrouped we got divided up by our good friend that joined the group and but we're back off to river road river road it's one of my favorite little roads going between canyon lake and new Braunfels. it's saturday morning so it's pretty darn busy right now <clears throat> excuse me summer weekend by the river hence the word river road there's actually a river it's to my right at the moment we're going to cross a little bridge and it'll be to my left. We're going to hopefully we'll be able to stop around here by the river, but it looks like it's pretty crowded this morning. We will see, but 
this is a cool part of the drive. all made it and I just realized there's a pair of German cars amongst a bunch of Japanese cars mostly Toyotas even. but that was a fun drive this is a short video because well it just is we had a fun drive we're just gonna go enjoy some good barbecue here at Salt Lake Salt Lake Driftwood Texas and next week we're gonna go to Gateway Classic Cars for the cars and coffee because a bunch of our people we know from the Hot Rod Tour of Texas will be there. Enjoy!